What is going on, YouTube people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here today to talk about Vault Wars. That's right. There is a war brewing. And ultimately, we will be the winners of this war. Because, because all the different selling platforms are waging a war for our cards. Uh, you're really starting to see this. Since the whole... PWCC eBay thing happens last week. Everyone, there's been this slow creep, but that kind of like kicked things off. So we're going to talk about it real quick today, what the future may hold. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So we all know PWCC got the good old boot because they were getting ready to launch their own service. During that whole PR nightmare last week, Golden Auctions put out a nice little uh, ad blitz about free vaulting services. Uh, send us all your cards. There's also another thing I saw a card porn post, and I think someone else post that uh, Golden is offering. They are going to PWCC to pick up cards. And if you have anything that you want to move out of PWCC to Golden, they will pick up in person for free and transfer it to their vault. Uh, we have uh, only alt after their PR hiccup with stealing everyone's data. Also offering a bunch of different promotions. And once again, the net winner here is going to be us because there is such a demand for inventory and we have the inventory and they want the inventory mid end, high end, low end. Doesn't matter. They want all of it because they want to make those one, two, three, four percent off all these sales. And if they could keep it within their own ecosystem, then you sell it to this person, the next person sells, the next person sells it, the next person sells it. They get a cut of all that. And all they're doing is moving information around on a spreadsheet. And then, you know, obviously insurance and storage and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong, but you see the appeal for them and the better and higher end cards that they get and the more volume that they get, the more fees that they get to have, the more renown they get to have. It's like free marketing. So there is definitely a war brewing for our sports card slash. Yeah, I'm going to expand that out to collectible inventory. Um, I believe they take comic books in some cases. They take non-sports cards in a lot of these. And ultimately, we're going to be the winners because they are going to cater to us as much as possible. You know, they're all offering free vaulting services. I think selling fees is going to be the real battleground. Um, we have, you know, my slabs, which does not all offer vaulting services, but just essentially a fancy Facebook marketplace to post your cards on. They take a 1% cut, buyer pays a 1% cut, and then PayPal goods and services is used to handle the transaction. Very clean, very simple, very easy. But you maintain control of the inventory because it's on your it's in your hands. But you have them with one percent seller fee fees. Starstock has their own vaulting service uh, for raw cards, graded cards, wax. They're big in the breaks now. Five percent seller fees for them. It seems like they're starting to kick up their game a little bit, but I feel like Starstock's niche is still on the mid to low end. Base cards, base PSA tens, PSA nines raw um, high-end stuff still just does not move on that platform but sub let's call it $300 stuff moves really well on that platform uh, my slabs everything moves pretty good if you price things correctly uh, I've had a lot of luck buying on my slabs uh, I've only listed one card for sale on my slabs and I ended up selling it on um, I think that was on IG where the guy reached out to me on that because I had posted about it on there and he saw it but uh, a lot of action. They posted their biggest selling day ever last week, I believe. Uh, and then there's the old stalwart eBay. And they're the interesting one here because they are the king. They control the market right now in regards to the selling platform. They get the most eyes and the most transactions. However, they do not cater specifically to us as a sports card market. They're trying. They've been trying to play catch up lately. You know, they did the whole thing with returns with three days instead of 30 days, which was much, much, much needed. 
Their biggest problem right now, in my opinion, is twofold. There's two major issues with them. One is the high fees compared to everybody else. And two, non-payments. They have got to crack down on non-payments next. That's one of their biggest holes. There is no reason why to buy on eBay that you should not have to have a payment method on file and the second that an auction ends or you smack best offer, buy it now, accept offer, whatever, that it does not auto pay. The second an auction ends, it should auto pay. Boom, done. Have a payment method set up. Like, let's fix this. It does not need to be the way that it is. That's their biggest issue, in my opinion, is non-payers. And they need to crack down on non-payers. And as buyers, we should be able to, or as sellers, we should be able to leave negative feedback for buyers that don't pay. Absolutely, 100%. We should be able to leave negative feedback. Um, and people should be able to see that before they accept an offer from somebody. And then, you know, the 13 to 14% fees uh, is a little ridiculous. Yes, I get that they are the biggest platform in the world. I don't mind paying it on some stuff. But with competition in the marketplace now, I think they need to re-look at selling fees. Um, when they got rid of PayPal, I think a lot of people expected not for them to chew up the extra 3%, like that we would save 3% there. That didn't happen, but I think that's something that they're going to need to look at. Because everybody else is draft. Well, I shouldn't say everybody else. We don't know yet. I don't think Golden and PWCC, they have not announced what seller fees are going to look like on their new platforms once they open. Only alt is 1.5% seller fees, which is extremely low. Um, I have a feeling the one benefit of PWCC getting kicked off of eBay is I think they are going to be extremely aggressive because they have to be to keep their client base. And ultimately the people are going to go where the inventory is. So they're going to do whatever it takes to keep their customers happy. So I think you're going to see extremely aggressive selling fees by both PWCC and Golden, uh, because whoever has the best selling fees is going to have an edge in keeping inventory. And, you know, if PWCC offers one or 2% selling fees, Golden comes out and offers 1% or 2% selling fees. One of those two grabs a decent market share, a decent amount of inventory. You're going to see more and more stuff move off of eBay. Because why would I pay even sending to like Probstein or another consigner? Why would I pay them 7 or 8% to send it to them to sell when I could just send it to PWCC or Golden or Alt, you know, shadiness aside, and just sell the card myself and only have a one or 2% seller fee. And if it's sold on one of those two platforms, they're dealing with the shipping or transferring it to someone else's vault or whatever. So that was part of the appeal on eBay of sending to a consigner is not worrying about returns, chargebacks, dealing with shipping headaches on high end cards, all that stuff. If you don't have to deal with that on the selling platform because it's going from one vault to another or they're dealing with the shipping, that's extremely appealing. I don't think eBay is ever going to offer that. I don't think eBay wants to get into the vault game. Maybe they do, but that would take a while to bring online. But they're not set up for that. I don't think they want to get into the inventory management game. They just want to be the selling platform. And some people, will, no matter what happens, eBay will always be a dominant force in this. But... I think these companies that are going to cut out a niche like PWCC, Golden, Alt, MySlab, StarStock, to a lesser degree, those two, because you know, StarStock offers vaulting, but I don't put them on the level of Alt, PWCC, or Golden. Uh, and MySlabs is just an eBay alternative. But specifically the big three, Golden, PWCC, and Alt, they're specialized in catering directly to us. So they are going to bend over backwards and whatever features or buyer and seller protections that we want, they're going to aggressively go after because they want our business and they want our cards. And whichever platform gets the inventory is going to get the buyers. And whatever platform gets the buyers is going to have the sellers. So it's very cyclical, the ecosystem. The nice thing about my slabs is that it allows you to still have the card in your possession and you can cross post it. 
So I can put it on my slabs. I can put it on IG. I can put it on eBay. If my card's sitting in one of these vaulting services, then it's, I don't want to say it's stuck there because you could transfer it. So you could like sell it on IG and then transfer it potentially. Um, I don't know all the steps involved with that. Or you're forced to essentially sell it on their platform, which could be fine. So it's going to be a very interesting uh, back half of this year. PWCC and Golden are both going to launch their selling platforms. Uh, we will see what those shake out like, what the fees look like, and where the marketplace kind of shifts to. I think there's going to be a shift more and more as time goes on to people getting off of eBay. And like I said, eBay's not going anywhere. They are the king force, but I do think there's room for one of these other ones to kind of step out as the clear number two. Which one that is, we don't know yet. Um, they all have a level of grease to them. Uh, you know, PWCC just recently had their thing. Alt recently had their thing. And a lot of people don't like Ken Golden. I've, I have no personal experience with any of these companies of the vaulting services. I have never used PWCC. I have never used Golden. I have never used Alt. I don't have an account on any of them. That's probably going to change. Um, but... I don't have any firsthand experience with them, but obviously, you know, they all have their level of sleaze to them, it feels like. eBay, obviously, we've all used, and I use Starstock a lot. I use My Slabs a lot on eBay. Those are my three. Like, those are my top three selling platforms, August 2021. In one year from now, what do we think our top three selling platforms is? I have a feeling one of those other three is going to be on that list. Golden, PWCC, or Alt. I'm going to bet on PWCC or Golden. I think it would have been a clear-cut winner, PWCC, if the eBay thing didn't happen. The eBay thing happened, and that left the door wide open for Golden to sneak in, I think. Alt still feels kind of niche to me, and a lot of people, I think, didn't like the whole privacy shenanigans. So they have that to come over. I'd be curious to see what's worse. Uh, alt stealing your privacy or PWCC shill bidding accusations. Um, that, that would be an interesting poll maybe to run. So uh, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. I'm curious. What do you think? So like what, you know, which one of these three do you see gaining market share between now and next year at this time? Between Alt, Golden, and PWCC. One of them is. It's just a matter of which one. And they'll all be viable. But one of them will probably slightly, slowly start to pull away. So that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff down below. Uh, and enjoy Vault Wars, like Fallout, but with sports cards. Peace.